Hello everyone, Noel Walsh here with Conquer You. And in this module, what I wanna talk about is sales managers, no-nos. And this is something that I saw at a dealership yesterday as I was training, and this is the channel, what I saw at the dealership yesterday, and it was managers just kind of sitting around wondering what their staff was talking to me about. It was almost like they felt like they were hiding something or almost like they felt that they were doing something wrong and they didn't want it to surface. They did not want me to be aware of that. And so sales managers, I want you to think about this with your staff. Do you currently have the division to where on a slow day, rather than going out and leading by example, rather than sitting with your staff and showing them how to use social media, how to market themselves, how to make the most out of a phone call, how to utilize the training that your store pays for, what they are doing is they are kind of sitting back, just kind of doing the bare minimum because there isn't much to do. But at the slow times in my career is when I picked up the pace. That's when I would start sending out letters. That is when I would pound social media. That is when I would start pounding the phone. That is where I would do whatever I had to do to get customers on the phone. Therefore, I could set the appointment and bring them in. And when I did this, I started carrying momentum throughout my month. I always say busyness creates business. So as I kept busy, I started to create more and more business. So sales managers, that's why I call this sales managers no-nos. When you are sitting around at your desk and you're doing some task, but you know you're not doing as much as you should be doing, but I understand since it's slow, it's easy to do, but what you need to do is get your team enthused. Get your team energized and go out there and lead by example. When you do this, you won't be doing sales managers no-nos. <music>